out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with the next part of the Titans Return Chaos Unvelocitron box set. It is Laser Prime. Um, and uh, this has got to be the most 90s thing I've ever seen. Uh, first of all, there's uh, the issue with Voyager scaling. I, I have his little Titan Master here, and you can see there is no way for him to possibly fit through the door of the truck's cab. He's too big. However, there is a place to accommodate the Titan Master. It's up here on the roof. You open out this uh, translucent window thing, and then, you know, the Titan Master goes inside. Nice and snug. See? There. You got a Titan Master, he's inside the vehicle, he's riding the vehicle, gimmick preserved. And um, even though all the wheels don't necessarily touch the ground at the same time, unless you're actively pushing it, it rolls pretty decently well. Alright, now, seriously, for how black his overall scheme is probably meant to be, this guy is covered in extremely loud coloring. <laughs> I mean, it is entirely to do with these foil stickers. Yes, these are indeed stickers on all of his panels. It has been such a long time since I've seen a Transformer with such large sticker detailing. I thought that they were afraid that if they put such big stickers like this, they'd peel off. But hey, gigantic stickers were actually a common thing in the 80s and 90s, which is clearly what this thing is trying to homage. I mean, look at this, like, he even has a picture of himself shooting on the side of the cab. Um, well, this is the drum, because he's a freaking tanker truck. Yep, I mean, Optimus is usually depicted as a fire truck or a semi tr towing a big old trailer behind him. But, uh, you know, tanker truck. I guess on Velocitron, you need a lot of gasoline to, you know, drive at super high speeds all the time. Um, so yeah, I mean, there we go. Uh, let's see. In addition to, in addition to, um, you know, the riding spot, the, he has pegs on his back that a Titan Master can simply stand on. There are four pegs, so theoretically all four of the Titan Masters from the, from the box set can stand on top of him. And, um, stand on top of a truck that's driving. That's fantastic. So, his vehicle mode is a truck. Um, I mean, like, yeah, big sticker detailing, decent number of paint taps, uh, not too much robot kibble showing. There is hips, but they're underneath. Uh, not bad at all. Looks a little bit undersized, but you're always going to get that when you have a, an Optimus that transforms with his trailer. There are holes in the side of the cab. You can put in the Titan Master gun on those holes and yes the titan master gun can serve as another seat for a titan master to ride shotgun very nice and he has another peg hole on the other side you can go ahead and put his kick-ass translucent blue sword on there yeah it's not bad very mad maxian sidecar gun turret sword uh why not it's crazy and ridiculous and I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for with this. So, um, enough talking about the truck, let's transform him. Which I'm going to do off camera because I haven't done it yet and I'm going to need to look at the instructions. Uh, there is one little thing about his transformation that I thought was kind of cool enough to show on the camera. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Uh, so there is Laser Prime. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see where they were going. I kind of like how his chest has more sticker detailing, like the cockpit windows that make up his chest play say Optimus Prime, and um, that's a pretty good Optimus head. Uh, I'm like, like, I like how his head can move around between the pylons, but also the pylons themselves have a bit of capability of rotating, so like... You can pretend that that's actually part of his head. Kind of, I kind of get it. Like, uh, the idea is that these are supposed to be heads for deluxe figures, so they might look undersized in a Voyager, so 
pylons come up on the sides to make them look a bit bigger. I can see what they're going for. Although it makes it look like the head is very wide and short and has a small face. I think the leaders solve the problem better with the helmets, but we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Uh, okay, so... I... I don't like this deco that much. Not at all. It is so gray. Like, Optimus. Like, okay, I know... I know, this is an Optimus variant. He is totally supposed to be Optimus in a different scheme, and that's the whole point. But, you know, like, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's all the gray. Like, it's supposed to be Optimus in some kind of Velocitron speed thing, right? Like, so you got the red... You got the black, you got the kneecaps that look like they're on fire. Um, I don't know, between all this red and black, he looks a lot more like Nemesis Prime. If it wasn't for the sky blue head, I'd be convinced that this is a pretty decent Nemesis. In fact, paint the pylons black, paint the face black, and this could totally pass for a Nemesis Prime. Which would be pretty cool, a Nemesis Prime. Problem is, there's too much darn gray in there to be Nemesis Prime too. Like, this would have to be black. Uh, I mean, I don't know, like, like, it's this gray. This gray doesn't just look gray. Maybe, maybe if it was silver, like the smokestacks. Because, like, let, let's zoom in on those smokestacks up there. The smokestacks that are now horizontally on his shoulders, those look cool. They're silver. They look badass. The rest of him is this gray. And gray doesn't look good on a... Transformer has, bro. When are you going to learn this? When you make a character whose primary color scheme is gray, it doesn't look like a gray robot. It looks like an unpainted robot. Like, look, you got this really cool effect here where you got the black that fades in a gradient to the red. That looks cool. Um, the sticker detailing, which is now on the back of the shin, seems to be pushed aside. It was, it seemed that all of his sticker detailing is doing everything it can to be covered up by this oppressive gray. I mean, look up here. Like, kudos to his, to the kibble from his third alt mode. Well, his second alt mode, third mode overall. Um, tucking up so nice and neat so it's not it's not oppressively in the way, but it's also covering up all of his darn detailing. Those cool sticker details that made his truck look so alive and 90s-ish is now hidden. Like, like it really did make his truck mode the most interesting mode. Uh, uh, so, I don't know, like, you can fold them out and then Optimus Prime had wings, so, like, they can give him, like, a flight mode for his robot mode. That's kind of cool. But, so, there is some extra play value to that, at least. But, really, like, this color scheme is not doing anything to win me over. Like, at all. I do not like this color. No, no, no. Alright, but let's talk about his uh, posability. So, the head is on the ball joint, and then, and then the pylon things can rotate this far. So... You know, you got you got some you got some natural neck movement. Uh, shoulders, they rotate up here. They go, uh, although they impact wing kibble on the back, which is annoying. Got to you actually have to to go out of your way to reposition the kibble to get his arm to move. And even then, these things bump the smokestacks. So the these speakers on his shoulders, I don't know what they are other than speakers, are in the way and they prevent his arms from getting full mobility. And then he had, but other than that, they good outward movement, bicep swivels, nice 90 degree elbows, no wrist rotation. Um, due to a transformation, the wrist can go inwards. Um, no waist joint. Um, I don't see how with the spring-loaded gimmick they could have put them in. Uh, legs, uh, smooth, smooth going this way, smooth going out, nice and tight, no ratchets, which is cool. I mean, ratchets are good for keeping your toys from getting floppy over the years, but, like, I don't like how most of the ratchet toys go, like, click, 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 click. 
I like having like like a smooth in between gradient so you can go you can go like uh, slightly calm you can go to tension slightly calm and then you can go out for wide legged stances you know like it's good to have like like subtle in betweens I like that I actually prefer not having ratchets here uh, going down to the legs we got um, a swivel here, thigh swivel, a knee, bends 90 degrees, this stupid thing keeps on, it doesn't peg in, it just kind of rests there, and um, foot movement, not much, but something, um, yeah, this, yeah, this, uh, like, it's not a bad mold, I will, I, it, I, I'm saying right now, if there were better colors, this would be a pretty darn good mold for Optimus. That said, the colors, the Velocitron colors aren't really that good. Not a big fan of this particular color scheme for Optimus. Like, it's a figure that would be a lot more interesting if the colors were better. Um, so accessories, he has his Titan Master Gun. Um, which, when he holds it, it's a big old double-barreled blaster of death. That really cool sword of his goes right into that hand. The, not exactly the tightest fit, but it doesn't, it's not loose. Um, this is where a wrist swivel would have been good, because, like, fig a character that wields a sword should always have a wrist swivel, but I guess, um, using the bicep swivel, you can fudge. And he can look pretty cool. I don't know. He this this Optimus just kind of looks way too stocky to be a swordsman. He looks no that that's it. This is he looks kind of stocky. He's big and boxy, and this is supposed to be him on Velocitron. This Optimus should look faster and more flexible, but he doesn't. If anything, he just looks he looks like um. He looks beefier and chunkier, like he like he's uh, armored up to go to to like war, where he needs heavily heavy armor to survive. He doesn't look like someone who's trying to be fast. That's the thing. This the Velocitron Optimus needs to be based off of a much more svelte mode that would that would um that would it that would um give us a sense of of agility and swiftness. This is just. It's too stocky. It's not a bad mold for Optimus, um, but it's it's not a very fast-looking robot mode, and it's it's just not a very good robot mode color scheme. I mean, I'm sure right now there are people who like probably read the comic that this Velocitron arc is based off of and think that this is like the awesomest thing ever, and they're typing in the comments how stupid I am for for rejecting it, but, you know, like, I, I don't know, I'm just going based off of my opinions here, folks, and, and, like, all this gray just eats away at his details, like, the, for how interesting and colorful and foilerific the, 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 um, the truck mode was, the, the, the robot mode looks every, looks just dull by comparison with all this all-consuming gray and that really funny Optimus Prime chest tattoo is not quite enough to save it. So let's take a look at his third mode and see if it redeems him. Well, I gotta say he committed to that third mode. <laughs> I mean that is a jet. Um, funnily enough all the truck wheels still touch the ground and that pops off extremely easily. I don't know like they say in the instructions that there's square pegs here that fit on top of the roof, but it's a very springy connection. I push it in and it frictions itself out so easily. Anyway, this is kind of a dumb way to carry the sword and the gun. Although, frankly, there is no non-dumb way. I mean, you can mount the gun here. I guess that looks okay, but, you know, like, the sword, like... <laughs> uh... Yeah, like, the weapons don't look all that good attached to this thing, but, you know, like, it's a plane, so it should look good as a plane, right? Oh, 
kind of like one of those stumpy wing cargo planes, I guess. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> I mean, that's definitely a cockpit there. It's a good cockpit. Um, the cockpit is gray while the rest of the jet's body is black. Maybe a more unified color scheme would have helped. More stickers for the cockpit windows. This thing has a lot of sticker detailing. I'm like, are stickers cheaper than paint? I mean, for the windshields? Really? I guess. Um, the Optimus Prime logos and the golden sides of the plane are back in full glory. Although, the picture of Optimus shooting something is now blocked by an inside-out truck cab, which is desperately trying to pretend to be jet intakes underneath the plane's wings. Oh no, Optimus, those do not look like jet intakes, that looks like a cab turned inside-out. <laughs> uh, Optimus isn't usually a plane. And given this, I can see why he's not usually a plane. The proportions of it look kind of silly. The wings are short and stumpy. Um, they're far back. I mean, it, it looks like a cross between a dumpy little cargo plane and, and ironically, a jet designed to fly at supersonic speeds. Because, um... A uh, bit of aer bit of aerospace trivia: the first plane to fa to fly faster than the speed of sound actually had this overall profile. It had a long, bullet-shaped body with relatively short wings, so that the um, the cone of compressed air that comes from breaking the sound barrier wouldn't wouldn't catch the tips of the wings. So the wings had to be short in order for it to be able to fly faster than the speed of sound. But it did not have big square intakes coming out the side of the plane. Like, cause um, like you have a supersonic jet profile this way, but this way you have way too much kibble to be aerodynamic enough to fly at supersonic speeds. Um, <clears throat> I will say it's, it's a triple changer. So hooray, it has a plane mode. I mean, Optimus becoming a the tanker truck and the plane, I guess that's kind of impressive. I mean, why not? Really? <laughs> um, I really don't have much to say. It's just, it's just a passable plane mode. It brings back the really cool glossy sticker detailing. I can say that much. I don't know, guys. Um... I mean, this was released before as, like, proper color Optimus. Do you guys think that the proper color version of this mold looked better in the three mold modes? Because, like, like, I'm very lukewarm on this. I don't... I don't like it personally. I don't think it's a bad toy. I mean, the mold has great potential. It's a pretty decent triple changer, and like I said, the stocky um, built Optimus with giant speakers on his shoulders actually looks pretty good. In fact, it's just a whole bunch more black paint away from being an, an awesome Nemesis Prime. But, uh, I don't know, like, between the, between the oppressively unpainted looking gray alt mode and, uh, and a lot of the detailing relying on stickers. I'm just not sure how to feel about this one. It's not my bag, guys. Uh, sorry about that. And this la Laser Prime is probably the weakest part of the Velocitron set. So there's only one left. Let's see if Quick Switch, the, the, the six shot re repaint, can redeem the set. So stay tuned for the next video.